All right, guys, welcome to the Bud Mary's channel. We're going to be talking to a few of the offshore boys today, starting with the Kalex, Captain Alex Adler. Let's see what he has to say about offshore fishing lately. So we just got in today. We had uh, great, great weather after that hurricane scare we had the last few days. Bait was easy, tons of ballyhoo, cigar minnows, two to three foot seas. Several sailfish caught down here today. We had uh, we had caught one and had some other opportunities. Caught dolphin, mutton snapper, yellowtail snapper, king mackerel. Goliath groupers were eating our fish. It was very exciting. We had action packed from the first line that went in the water. And uh, you guys got to come down here and experience everything here at Bud and Mary's. Come check us out, Captain Alex Adler. Hey, thank you, Alex. Yeah, but. Hey Colby, what's up buddy? How was your day? Today was good. Uh, we started out with a few uh, tunas out there on the Alamada Hump. We started off catching a lot of bait, pilchards. It's a big uh, it's a big part of the day. And uh, then we made our way out for the tunas and we caught some tunas. The sharks weren't that bad. And then we uh, we started heading back in a little bit and we found a little weed line, a little trickle. Found a few pieces of debris. Ended up catching a few nice mahis off it. And uh, then we ended our day with uh, stopping in a, at a spot on the reef, catching these nice yellowtails. And uh, with all, it was just a beautiful day, great people, and uh, that's about it. Awesome, that is some beautiful mahi. What's y'all's name? Krista. I'm Joe, and this is Krista. Nice to meet you guys. You guys have fun? We had a great we time, had great a crew. Blast. Looks like you guys have a lot of fish to eat. We did, <laughs> we do, yep. Awesome, man. Well, you guys, thank you, we appreciate it. Thank you. We'll see you guys again soon. Definitely. Calyx. So massive, you know, you don't know, you know, Jamaica Mike, you see me? The roughest, toughest Jamaican again one more time, you see it? So yeah, you know, you know, captain from the, from the Marie Mackay come in, you know? I'm gonna get some, this is our, this is our mountain snapper and the, you know, grouper. You see them here? I'll make some wicked fish soup with them here. Like how oh, you see me make the fish head soup? You see me? So, well, I got a friend, I got a Jamaican friend I'm gonna give this one to, and he's gonna make a big pot of fish head soup. And this one, I'm gonna make a pot of fish head soup for me. I'm gonna put like chayote, you know, um, okra, carrot, you know what I mean? Irish potato, the whole works. It's gonna be delicious. But you see, once you clean up on everything, I'll make it clean and nice, I'll make a real proper fish head soup. A real thing, dada. You see me? Yeah, man, none of this are fish and I go to waste. You see, we in the Jamaica and the island of the Caribbean. We cook everything, man. We just clean out the guts, scale it off, clean it up real nice, and we just cook it down and make a nice pot of fish head soup. You see me? Yeah, man. Give thanks, blessing every time. You see me? Nothing got to waste. Beautiful, Straight. Mike. Beautiful. Yeah, you know? Straight. Thank you. So, guys, I'm Dylan. Cleaning the cast net we throw every morning. Down south, live bait is everything. So, you gotta take care of all your stuff that takes to catch them. Uh, Got to catch a small fish to catch the big fish. On the real McCoy, we do it every morning, as like everybody else here, and uh, kind of cool. Get to go out there and know what you're gonna do by the first 30 minutes of catching bait. Got to feed him something. How many bait did you catch this morning? Probably 500 cigar minnows, mixed in with the sardines, a couple dozen ballyhoos. And then so. you guys just absolutely slayed the snapper and caught big grouper. We live baited the snappers all day and trolled up the groupers and it made for a good day. Had a double header sailfish and that's always fun. That's my favorite fish to catch. And you just got your captain's license too, didn't you? Yes, I did. All right, so, cool, man. Putting that time in doing that and be driving near you soon. Sounds good, man. Thank you. No problem. All right, so we have Joe and Cole, and they went out on the Catch-22 today, and just wanted to say hello and see how they did. Yeah, we, we heard a lot about Bud and Mary's, and particularly about Dr. Scott. And, you know, sometimes those things work out like you had hoped, and sometimes not. This is the first time for us here. Even though we've done a fair amount of fishing in different parts of the world, we had one of the best trips ever today. And we caught a lot of sailfish, a lot of different kinds of fish we can have for dinner tonight uh, so we're looking forward to that 
Uh, and it was a great family opportunity for us to be able to get away from the stress of the everyday life and get down here, get away from everything. And you don't even have a chance to think about stress because you're catching a selfish and you got two on and then you know all these things are going going on and you're running around the boat trying to figure out how you're going to get all these sailfish in at one time. It was, <laughs> it was truly a blast. So I, I couldn't imagine it, how it could be any better. The fishing was great, the crew was great, Bud and Mary's were, were great. Being here with my son and you know uh, his girlfriend was just an awesome, awesome experience. That's really special man, very cool. What did you think Cole? So yeah, like my dad said before, we both had the opportunity to fish a fair amount. And uh, with that being said, the luck we had at Bud Mary's was unparalleled. The whole time, uh, you know, we were actively looking for fish. We were either uh, getting something online or you know, going to scout something else. And we had managed to get four sails on, um, kind of a clear day after some turbulent weather. So, you know, we were lucky with that. But with that being said, uh, you know, it was a great day. We had a mixed bag in terms of uh, the types of catch we had as well. So we'll be eating good tonight on that. And then uh, on top of that, we've just really had an awesome experience here. Um, couldn't be happier. You know, it's right here in the United States. You don't have to travel around the world to have the best fishing. It is right here in Alamorada. So. Very good point. Well, hey, thank you so much, guys. What do you got there, Charlie? That's a pumpkin. Have you talked to your mom? That's a real pumpkin, isn't it? That is a real. Um, before we it's the great the pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Yeah. Wow. Good thing you got a nice sharp place there. Okay. All right, guys. There's some exciting stuff going on at the dock at Bud and Mary's. We're going to take you into the backcountry now. My dad Richard caught a big old snook the other day. It was an exciting fight. Check it out. I think it might be a big snook. I don't know, you know. I think it's a shark. I think it's a shark. Eight to one. I ain't caught but one snook all day. Eight to one. I'm the champ. <laughs> right. Look at that fish. Holy Weight beats cow. numbers every time. Holy cow. See if you can hand me that guy. Whew. What a fish. Go get him, fish. All right. Hey, battle wounds. Everybody Always got to be careful of those big snook. Whoa, Any snook. And that's what's been going on at Bud and Mary's. Thanks for watching so much, guys. If you like the channel, please subscribe and tell your friends. And we hope to see you down here fishing sometime soon.